Hello, and welcome to another quick tip from SI Imaging. To shave or not to shave, that is the question. That is, should investigators remove hair from or depilate mouse or rat research models or other furry critters prior to in vivo optical imaging of fluorescence or bioluminescence reporters? Consider this. For optical imaging, a nude albino mouse is about as optically clear of an animal as one can get due to the lack of hair and skin pigmentation. Next best are albino strains that lack pigment but have hair. Light transmission suffers progressively from there as you move through darkening skin, pigmentation, and coat colors such as yellow to goody to brown, and to the toughest models to capture light transmission from the darkly pigmented black coated strains like C57 Black 6. Knowing this info, one can imagine that nude mice followed by albino white furred mice have better light transmission through their skin due to the lack of epiderm pigment than that of a pigmented agouti brown or black furred model, hair removed or not. So, why depilate? Why remove hair? Broadly, for optical reporter imaging studies, depilation can be quite useful to increase the visibility of your optical reporter, in particular when first characterizing a model in a pilot, or at the start of a study, or if looking for very low-level signals such as metastases or off-target reporter binding. Depilation is recommended. It is quite literally like drawing the curtains back from a window and letting the light in. Removing hair physically removes a barrier to light transmission, which increases reporter light intensity while reducing scattering and absorption, regardless of whether the animal has pigmentation or not. This in turn increases detection sensitivity to your reporter signal by effectively making your reporter brighter, more easily detected by the CCD camera in your imaging system. Shaving by electric trimmer or depilation by chemical applications such as Nair, or probably the sensitive skin version, have both been shown to have low to no impact on animal being when done correctly, compassionately, and according to instructions. That said, be sure to discuss these options and procedures with your resident vet or vet techs to ensure local compliance and animal safety. Long story short, overall brighter reporter signal is why one would depilate a research model prior to optical imaging. Why would one not depilate or remove hair? There's five points to consider. There may be more. The first is inflammation at the site immediately after hair removal, which can slightly obscure signal due to increased subcutaneous blood flow as part of the inflammatory response. This response can be minimized partially with good technique and partially by waiting 24 hours or so until the inflammation has reduced. The second, repeated insult to the dermis, either mechanically or chemically induced, can lead to micro scarring, which may decrease light transmission over time. Careful application of either technique will reduce this concern. Third, if the disease of focus is manifested in the skin, or if incisions or wounds are part of the study, depilation may increase the severity of the disease or slow wound healing. Here, depilation may have to be avoided, and opt optimization by mouse strain, if possible, might be best. Fourth, if using an inflammatory probe, the acute inflammatory response to depilation can alter the probe's normal biodistribution. Fifth and last, if your signal is very bright, one simply may not need to remove hair. Published examples are available of this. However, recognize that the intensity may be different than if hair removal had occurred, as the reporter signal collected will be dimmer than the signal collected without hair in the reporter light path. In this case, remember the consistency is needed. As long as one path, hair removed or not, is chosen through the course of the study, the quantitative data will be directly comparable over time. In summary, overall, Use of a small electric trimmer or nair are often the safest and most convenient routes to use for depilation. With a bit of practice, either method can be used, preferably performed about 24 hours prior to optical imaging. While there are instances where hair removal may not be appropriate or even needed, depilation typically allows for greater bioluminescence and fluorescence reporter light transmission and intensity by way of removing hair from the light path between the reporter light expression within the body of the animal and the CCD camera detecting it. That's all for now. If you have any questions on this topic or others, please reach out to us at scientist at specimage.com. Take care.